Hey, my name is Wabbit, and I like to have fun. Let me uh, start off with some background context, boring talky bits, as I like to say. And in this video, I want to break down um, a video that I did that started out as something and then transformed into something else. And then when I'm done talking, I'm going to pull in the device that I used to make the music for this video and just kind of walk through uh, what I did. So the background, let me start with what happened. <laughs> and as you listen to this story, if you decide to, I'm sure we can all relate. And the purpose of doing this, uh, I, I know there are people who like to understand or know what you did, but I also want to inspire you. I mean, that's a, a big part of what I'm doing. And like many days, I'm down here in the hutch sitting on the oversized couch with the feet up. It's 3, 4 in the morning. Maybe just have a lamp on that I control with the phone. You know, nothing too bright, but, you know, kind of a, a mood type thing. Maybe I'll turn on the LED lights that are underneath the desk. And I have the iPad with me. And I'll usually start the morning just kind of seeing what people said on the Discord, checking some social media. Maybe there was a notification on a video. Go check that out. And then I may just kind of sit there for a moment. I may look around, think about, okay, what to do today, and perhaps making some music. And because I mess around, because I noodle, I don't really have a set agenda. I don't have a set schedule. I don't have a, a plan. And here's a funny thing. I'm okay with that. The reality, though, sometimes I'm like, okay, what do I do? And I, I did a video where I created this hammer workout plan. I, I look at the piece of paper, like, okay, today is Monday. Ooh, I can kind of just get uh, MacGyver with it and, and throw stuff together. Sometimes I don't feel like that. And I don't know what hit me. I mean, sometimes things, I mean, you probably have this too. Something just happens and the reason behind it, it's like, who cares? It, it just happened. And I've been wanting to do more with the iPad as a pedal. What I mean by that is using the effects that are built into the iPad and put it on something. It could be another app in the iPad. It could be a piece of hardware. Because I see a lot of great content here where people are using hardware pedals and they sound awesome. And then I look at the price tag. Now, maybe one is okay, but you know how this works. You can't just have one. You, you enter a rabbit hole of any particular thing, yeah, your wallet's not going to be happy with you. So these things add up. I'm looking at things like the microcosm, for example. That thing sounds great. And then they come out with another thing, the Chroma console. And then someone has a video by Chase and, and their pedal. Uh, I mean, there are channels that are dedicated to pedals. And it's just, and then I think about plugging all those things in. Now, I'm not here to say that the iPad is the way to go, yet I'm pretty bullish on it. So as I'm sitting here, or sitting there at that moment, I thought, okay, you know what? I have a lot of. I'm just going to call them pedals, a lot of virtual pedals, a lot of them. And some of them, I don't even know what they do. So if I turn on the camera and say, hey, I'm going to pull this thing in, I don't really have an idea what to do. I just mess around. I pull stuff in. Maybe the name I can recognize or I've used it before. I know it's a reverb. I know it's a delay. Sometimes i got to go to the app store and look at the description. I thought, you know what? Let's uh, pull a piano app in. And a lot of these things, I, 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 I'm I inspired by seeing what people do. Not replicating one for one, but what I'll get to, I think if you, again, stick around, you'll be like, oh, I, I see people do this all the time. And then I thought, okay, I'm going to get a MIDI app just to get a, a couple notes going through it. Because, again, I'm sitting there with the iPad. I don't want to get up and get a MIDI keyboard out and, and play. I'm, I'm, trying, I'm all in the box here right now. And I'll throw a bunch of effects. And, and again, I'll get to this point and show you. And there was no plan. 
I just wanted to kind of, th- I wasn't trying to max the system out because you'll see, I, I think I used 10 plugins. That was not my goal. Now, did I pay attention? Yeah, I kind of took a peek at the DSP. And I just pulled stuff in. And then I started listening to the sound. And then, and then I stopped putting stuff in. And it, it, something happened where the mind shifted from what I was doing in the device to being in the moment. I had my, head, I had my AirPods on. And I remember thinking, oh, crap, I didn't set up a bus channel. I don't have this going through a limiter. It sounds quiet. I got, I'm like, no, stop. There, there's a part of me in that moment I thought, don't get into the weeds. Don't be technical about it. Just be present right now. Because this, to me, sounds good. And then I just let it, then I actually started the screen recording. That's another thing I want to talk about. As I'm doing this stuff, I always say, hey, I'm going to start recording, but there is a pressure of when the red light is on that I feel like I have to do something. I'm not, no one's watching me. It's a subconscious thing. And it never fails that when the red light is off, I'm not saying I put out masterpieces and bangers. I just flow. I just go in in my own way. But I still wanted to be in the moment, but I wanted to capture that and share it with you. Now, again, I didn't know where I was going with this. I just recorded, and I just actually leaned back the chair more, and I just closed my eyes, and I listened. And I'm listening to the movement of the music, and I'm having flashbacks of all kinds of things, good and bad. And it was, as I said in a Discord group, it was very intense. It was bumping into Bob Ross. It was a happy accident. It was a sensation. It was all these words that I'm trying to think of. I even you know, was going to come up with some fancy name for what I'm going to call it. And it just, it was just one of those moments. So finally, I stopped the recording. And I look at it, it's like 14, 15 minutes. Now, in this moment... I'm like, okay, I got to share with my Discord buddies. And I put a post in one of the, the Discords saying, hey, have you ever had this moment? And if you saw that, you know what I'm referring to. And someone asked, hey, do you have a video? Go, you know, I'm like, I haven't done it yet. At that time, I, then I got to go feed the zoo, get coffee, you know, go about the day. As I come back down to the hutch to make this video, I was thinking, what do I do? And I, I knew that it was going to be a super long video if I played that because it was 15 minutes. Then I'd come back and do the breakdown. So I'm looking because I, I talk a lot. <laughs> I'm talking about a 30-minute video. I'm like, okay, i got to split this up. So initially, I was going to I, I was going to come up with some catchy tagline, and then I actually combined the words to make some word to make it sound like a name of a song. And I, and I took that question that I put in the group about, you know, my Bob Ross, you know, bumping into Bob Ross, you ever had this moment, and I I put it in the intro of the video. And then I'm like, okay, if I just throw up the screenshot of that, that's boring. And I've always been wanting to incorporate my photos that I've taken from my days of hiking and video, combine that with music, put it in the video. But again, I'm thinking, okay, I'm, I'm trying to explain to my little Discord buddies. And then just something kind of clicked. I'm like, wait a minute. When I was hiking, I would share all my photos on Facebook. And one of the things that I didn't like about it is it, a few eyeballs only, only saw it. And I wanted to share it with more because, again, it, it's been part of what I do. It's me. It's, I want to inspire you. And, and, and it's in various forms. It could be by talking. It could, could be by teaching. I'm like, wait a minute. This is an opportunity I have now. So I scrapped all what I was going to do. I scrapped the title. And I went to, I have a full, I've downloaded 
the content from Facebook, and I've got a folder on a hard drive because I, I had everything categorized on Facebook for my different hikes. And I'm listening to this music, and again, we all have different interpretations of what something's, and, and my initial thought was just kind of dark. That was my initial thought, dark and dreary. And I thought, okay, I've, I've got photos I've taken from when I'm hiking, and it's cloudy. And I thought, okay, let's kind of look for some of those. And I'm not saying every single photo you know, fit that bill, but that was just kind of the mood I was thinking. Okay, and then I'm thinking, okay, it's 15 minutes long. I don't want to get, you know, a photo and, and play every five seconds. That's just way too many. And then I got to think about editing and post. So I basically just found photos, made them a minute long, did the whole editing on that. And then I started thinking, okay, how can I put this out for the audience at large? So the first thought was, let's make this a title. Or at first thought, I should say, I need to come up with a title. And I was kind of bouncing stuff, ideas around my head. And I thought, okay, let's go to what I've been wanting to do, share my experiences with hiking. And I thought, okay, let's come up with something very simple. Instead of a catchy name, I'm looking at the photos. And one thing that I know, I'm playing this back, I'm listening at this time, I'm still not worried about how the audio sounds. I, I did raise the DB a few in post, and that's about it. And I was like, ah, I should have done something, but who cares? But as I'm looking at these photos of these, I'm like, okay, there's something in common here. I, I've, I've been here before in this thinking, and the trail. Every photo that I look at, there's a trail that I took to get there. And I was having these, these great moments and flashbacks and accomplishments. I'm listening to the music and the ebbs and flows of it and like this is it caught the trail and then the idea of you know as you see in the video where I put someplace on earth the the idea behind that was yeah I could have put in subtitles what the photo where it was taken and I thought no I, I don't want that distraction I want to give you the viewer two options you can visually look at it and also hear or you can close your eyes and just listen because we have enough of that in, in other parts of life where we get into the weeds. And I, I wanted to deliberately avoid saying, hey, this is where this is taken. Now, now someone's going to ask that question. You're always going to get that. But that was the purpose. And, 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 I, and part of me was thinking about when I listen to other creatives, when I listen to artists, and you hear their story, what they're doing, it's completely different than what you thought because we have our own ideas. And, and again, that can be the beauty of this whole Thing that we call art and I just wanted to call it the trail and and I think think about when I watch things on Netflix you know episode one and I don't want to put that in the title but I'm gonna have it then I think I can create a playlist so the someplace on earth is that's it I'm gonna do that for every single video then be episode two and then I put a little quote at the end because that was something that I was thinking back in 2019 and then when I started hiking it was the result of going through some grief, dealing with the loss of a loved one. And the trail was always there for me. You know, when you lose someone, as I stated in the, the thing, humans come and go, that's what that means. The trail was always there. And, and if I needed some consistency in my life, I needed something that was reliable, it was the trail. Now, in this video, I did not do any narration. However, as I've explained in the description that from time to time I may do that. And it, it, it may be. I'll talk about this particular photo. For example, there is a, a big hike that myself and, and some folks did that was a major accomplishment. And I feel that deserves a story. But then I could also use the same one and throw it on music. And now this gives me an opportunity. So it's interesting. And I, and I share this. I know this is very long-winded, but if I just put this out and gave you the breakdown it would be lost. The story would be lost. And that's the human element of what I'm trying to get across. I, I apologize if it takes <laughs> me now 15 minutes to get to this point. But this is how the human experience works. And, I, and I, I find that there's great power when you get that backstory. That's why I, I, I long so much to hear the people that I follow and watch. Tell me a little bit about your story. Give, give me some human element. 
it's not all about lighting and editing and what we see. That's what I want, and I, and I long for that, but I can't tell people what to do, so I do this, and, and it's my hope that someone hears this and, and does the same thing, because that's what fascinates me. So the evolution of just this one instance of where it started and how it transformed to where it got to. So initially, I was going to throw a video out. It was just going to be, like I said, hey, like I talked about earlier. And then it went to, this is what I want to do. This is what I've been wanting to do. And it felt good. All right. Let's talk about the breakdown. <laughs> so I've already spoiled it. I gave it away in that I use the iPad to do this. Let me uh, do a little focus lock here on the iPad so it doesn't get all blurry. And, you know, that's one of the problems of using the iPhone. Anyway, all right. So I'm going to attempt to talk about what I did. Um, so I had the iPad, and I'm using an app called AUM. Now, I am not going to go into detail about everything. So if I'm if I'm bringing something up and you want to know more, please, uh, YouTube is your friend in the search bar, and you can find that out. So what I did in that moment is I saved that session so I could come back and do this now. So fingers crossed <laughs> that this all works. And... I'm going to go and find that session, <laughs> and I called it What Just Happened, because I kid you not, it literally, in that moment, and when I stopped, I was just like, my jaw was in my lap, like, what happened there? And and I, I love those moments. That's why we share this. It, it, it When you get the response, hey, that happened to me, it just makes you feel human. It's a human connection. So let's see what happens if I can load all this up. All right, I'm going to now screen record because I just want, if I do any sound, so what's going to happen is in post, I'll marry all this stuff together. All right, so let's talk about, I, I alluded to a lot of things. So here is the MIDI controller. Basically, it's a, an app that I can come in here, and I punched in just two notes. And I picked a random event and shape. I, I'm going to leave it at that. And the idea, like I said earlier, is because I didn't want to have to pull out a keyboard, so I'm letting this automatically do it. That's high level what is going on here. It's just sending something out. Then I had to find, as I mentioned, a piano app. And I just picked this one here. I didn't do anything else. I just let the default preset come in. Then behind the scenes, I had the connect stuff. I go into my MIDI routing, and basically I'm just sending this information from this app over to the piano app. Very basic. And then let me go ahead. Now you've already, if you watch the video, again, I'll put a link down below. You this the sound you heard is with all of the plugins engaged. It's all to the right. So what I'm gonna do is move everything to the left. And basically what now is happening is when I hit play, if, if I have everything connected and it's working right and I actually can't hear anything, it may come through. I didn't think about this because I need to hear it as well too. Um, all right, I'm going to switch to AirPods and put, take my headsets off. I'll still leave the mic on. Yeah, <laughs> it's going to leave this as is. Yeah, because if I uh, let this play out, yeah, it, it, it gets messy. All right. Let me just play. I just want to make sure I can hear. Okay, perfect. All right. So, again, dry signal. So, when I hit play, you kind of already heard that. It's sending the MIDI to this piano app, and it's coming out. In my particular case, I'm hearing it, but you should be able to hear as well, too. So, it's playing this pattern the shape, 
and just these two notes. That's it. Nothing terribly exciting. And then that's where I, okay, I want to add these things. So again, without getting into the technical details, um, I have the option here of adding these, uh, what are called AUV3s. And as you notice, I can add multiple on here. Now, I believe I have 10 here. I could keep going. Now, I had no particular thought process of going forward in terms of what I added. So I've got like reverbs. Um, I've got delays. I've got things that kind of ping pong stuff. And uh, again, and then finally, I, I end with a granulizer and flus. So what I'll do is just kind of pull up what the apps are. So this one here kind of gives it that, as it says, animated atmosphere, kind of a reverb. And I'll let you hear. Again, I don't want to misspeak on stuff. But this one here is called uh, Cascade. Then I've got this Coric. Um, again, I'll let you hear and listen. Then I've got this one here, Classic Effects. It just kind of does a lot of weird stuff to it. And then this here is uh, a delay. It's called D-L-Y-M. Then we've got this dub delay. I know it seems a little weird, but again, I, I'm not really focused on what. I believe this is the, uh, this is also, this is called EOS 2 by Audio Damage. And this has like um, uh, also a bit of a delay as well too, but I was like just exploring. This K7D has like tape effect. And you can have different, and I, some of these things, I actually pulled up some presets. A few things I messed with the mix wet or dry wet. Again, I was just messing around. I had no particular rhyme or reason. Kajita just does some mangling to the sounds. <laughs> I know I'm talking very high level. Uh, Cosmonaut. And then Fluss to round it off. All right, so let's, what I'll do is I'll do play. I'll kind of walk through what I was doing. I've already got everything pulled in. Let's hit play, and then I'll just pull in each one and let you hear what it does. And at the end, what I loved about this is we started with the sound, and then we got to the end result. Again, it's, it's, it's stuff that people have done. I'm not doing anything new. But there's something when you do it, and when you come from the place like I am that just that messes around and you get something that sounds cool, super fun. And I'm not going to, the other thing too I mentioned, I forgot to add a bus on here to boost the volume. I'm not going to do that here. So this is what happened at that time. It may be low. I can bring this up in post. Again, I'm not focused on having the perfect audio. And what I loved about this 
was how it started with a piano sound and then through adding effects. And I went a little slower with stuff. And I, again, I tweaked some things as I went along. I kind of went through that pretty quick. But when I got to the granule, and then even in here, I tweaked some parameters. Again, I'm not going to go into detail, but I just tweaked some things. And I was using my ears. And to me, how over time that just... Now, now what you saw in the, the trail video, if you watched it, I came in late. I was recording. I didn't have the recording. And that's what I was talking about earlier. Sometimes I wish I just hit record and it would be cool to kind of share that from start to, to end. But just that, that transformation, the process, I, I could get really deep on you and philosophical and talk about how that can have, how that correlates to life things and how things, I mean, I, you know where I'm going, but it was cool to be in that moment. And I've seen videos that Heimbach comes to mind where he does things with sounds and runs them through various things. And at the end, you have something completely different. And to me, that is fascinating. And, and, and while I've said this before, that no matter what you do in terms of the art, you know, you're doing something. There's something about music. Maybe in the kitchen is a, a, a good analogy. You've got a bunch of ingredients laid there on the counter. Maybe you're coming in with a recipe, or maybe you're like, you know what? I'm going to mess around. I have some basic understanding that if I put this flour and that seasoning, you know, if, I, I, if I use some liquids, I'm going to see what I, I get. You toss it in the oven and you wait a little bit and, and something comes out that was not what you put in. Now, it may taste great. It may taste like crap, but you, you had some fun. That's the only analogy I can think of. I'm, I'm sure there's others and feel free to leave that below in the comments. This was a moment for me. This inspired me to do more of this, to put hardware into the iPad. And I love this because when you share this, there are people who just look at this at face value, thumb their nose up, toss it aside, and it's a waste of time. And I understand they're coming from a different place on this journey. Maybe they've been messing with a particular thing for a long period of time that works for them, and here comes this amateur rabbit who has no idea what he's doing, doesn't know how to play a piano, has a guitar sitting over there that's collecting dust. Who is he to come into the scene? And all I can think is, wow, you, you, you've lost your way because this creative space is an open space for us to express what we enjoy. And I had an opportunity to throw some virtual pedals. And we always say, you know, we shouldn't be copying other people. We should, you know, do our thing. We're all inspired. I mean, everybody's copying stuff, but it was fun. It beat the alternative of going on the Twitter and being triggered by what was on there and getting into a beef. I've, I've done those things. And now... I have toys and tools at my disposal that I can try and inspire you, but, but damn for sure inspire myself. And, and that feeling that I had back there on the chair, even though it lasted for a short moment, wow, it, it, it was amazing. So I know I go on for a very long time and, and probably just one person is still here. So thank you for spending time here and letting me share my story, my journey. And I can't wait to do more of this stuff and share it with you. And as long as Father Time hasn't called my number, I'm going to keep doing this because this is what makes me happy. And I know that someone out there, it'll resonate with them versus putting it in a confined social media box and never going anywhere. This one truly made me smile because of, of many things that I've talked about. 
and I can't wait to share more. This is Wabbit. I love to have fun, and I hope you as well, too. Thank you for your time. You know the drill how this thing goes. I do hope to catch you in the next one, and until then, keep jamming.